Okay, so now at this point in time, we are ready to go for our brushes. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate out our inking. Next, I am gonna go into brushes, user defined. I am looking for my tinted. You could also do the uh, the normal ones, so we're since these are all just gonna stay black today. Now, if you do not have our brushes, just go back to jasonsegrass.com. If basically the exact same place where you had found our anchor point guides, look for brushes AI file, and then just drag those over and create some new art brushes. I do have two videos on how to do them, and takes less than a minute to do. So the brush images are already done. All you have to do is drag them over. So all we're really doing for brushes, in case this is your first tutorial, is we are looking for those edges. So anytime an edge is floating out in space, that is a good signal to have it tapered. The other side is if it's going to be touching another line, that is a good signal to have either a fat on both ends and or fat where it's going to be connecting with other lines. So if things are touching, have it fat. If it's floating out in space by itself, that is a good place to have a taper. All right, I am going to reflect this one just so the kind of the blunt end just goes and hides over onto that line. So that's all we're doing right there. Now for the nose, most of that is actually gonna get filled in with black, so I am not gonna do anything with the brushes on the nose side of the cheek there. We're just gonna bump it up. And then shoulders, we're gonna to wanna to go thick up at the top, go back down thin. We're just gonna do all of these little wrappings first. Those are all going to be tapered, by the way. I'm going to do them tapered rather than doing them uh, thick on both ends, but to be honest, each one will work. So it really just depends on your look. So I would recommend doing both just so you can see them. For this leg, it's going to go thick up by the hip, and then it's going to taper. This one's going to go tapered on both. Let's just look at those. Basically, the thumb and the foot are going to get completely silhouetted out. So that one's not going to matter. I think these will both go skinny, skinny, just so they're a little bit more uniform. Okay, fat on both ends. Eyeballs, those are going to get switched over. I believe in my... In the sample, I might have a thick to thin on the teeth, or have the uh, the fat on both ends. So if you like that look, go for it. Okay, I'm just thickening up a few things. I think that's a little bit easier to uh, delete sometimes. Let's grab our ellipse tool. We're just dragging two of them out. That will be our shadow. Okay, looking good. So basically at this point, what you are looking for is are all of the edges overlapping? Are the lines as thick as you want? So if you want to adjust any of the thicknesses, this would be a good time to do so. You also want to look at all of the fat edges and just double check that none of those corners are hanging out. So you always want them to go long rather than short. Since the next step is going to be coming through with the eraser tool. And what we are looking for is to get rid of all of the overlapped lines. So all we're doing right now is just a little double check. Okay, looking good. So what I would do is save. We definitely want to make sure that we save this one. This is where we did all the heavy lifting. So we definitely want to make sure that we keep our brushes. So I'm going to go brushes on this one. The layer above that I just duplicated, I'm going to say brushes expanded. And the amount of times I have to go back to my original with the brushes that are still in stroke form, definitely, definitely save that one. So what I'm looking to do right now is anything that I'm going to be filling, such as the eyeballs, I'm not going to expand those. So the circles down at the bottom, circles for the eyeballs, I'm not expanding those. Usually click it twice. And then what we're going to do is I'll basically show you a, a few of the or the process for the eraser tool and then I'll just bounce over to the when I'm done so you guys can kind of see the process but it's just not fun TV watching me erase things so all we're really looking for 
is we are looking for the edges. I'm going to select it with the direct selection tool, black arrow, shift E, which is our eraser tool. And then I'm just deleting those edges. So you're gonna notice that it does not matter if I, it looks like it deletes all the other lines and it only deletes the one that I have selected. So I'm selecting first, black arrow, shift E, and I'm just getting rid of those overlap lines. So the major thought process is what's overlapping what. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna skip over to when I'm done. That would be a good time to pause and then just double check it as you are going through and deleting yours. So I'm just gonna finish this up and then we'll finish up this tutorial. Okay, so it is all done. So what I would do is pause it just so you can see it. What I would next do is since we have everything where we want it to, I would basically using Pathfinder, unite all of your black. So now we are ready to go for the live paint bucket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this tutorial. So save, save, save. And then in the next tutorial, we are gonna go flat color with live paint, and then we are gonna finish with our shadow. So I will see you on the mummy color tutorial.